welcome to Lady Mail and Sor Francisco's Craft Time. We're so glad you could join us today. Today we'll be making cherry blossom art using a recycled soda bottle. So spring is in the air now and pink blossoms are soon appearing on all our trees. Did you know in Washington, D.C. they have a National Cherry Blossom Festival? From March 20th to April the 11th. In 1912, the city of Tokyo, Japan gave Washington, D.C. a beautiful gift. They gave them 3,000 cherry blossoms trees. And this year we celebrate the 109th anniversary of that gift. But really every year is a celebration of that gift because those trees are so beautiful and they grace us with beauty and countless amounts of natural joy and wonderment each year. So today we are going to celebrate that and create our own painting. So are you ready? Well, let's get started. For our cherry blossom art, you are going to need a canvas or a poster board or paper, or whatever you desire to paint on. You're going to need a brush and some water, because remember we always take care of our brushes. You're going to need a plate, a bottle, some napkins, and some newspaper because mom, you don't want to mess up mom's table, she gets upset about that. And you're going to need paint. And I'm using pink because cherry blossoms are pink. As you can see, I've already got my branch painted, and this does not have to be perfect. Branches go every which way. They're like snowflakes. No two are ever the same. So when you're drawing your branch, you don't have to be perfect. You're going to take your bottle and see how it has the five points on the bottom. That is going to make your cherry blossom. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our bottle and we're going to put it in our pink paint. Don't press down all the way because if you do, your paint will slide off your bottle. All right, and once you do that, you come over to your branch and you're going to stamp it. Okay. Sir Francisco had so much fun doing this craft. He likes to paint. Now remember, each tree is different. They're all unique. And we want to see yours on our Facebook page. So make sure you show us that what your cherry blossom branches look like. And we're going to add one right here. Now, what you can do, if you want, and you don't have to, you can take a Q-tip and go back and put one right in the center of them. But that is totally up to you because this is your artwork. So you do it any way you want to. And this is a lot of fun for a family craft night or a friend craft night. And they come out so pretty. And there you go. We have our cherry blossom branch. Thank you so much for joining us, Sir Francisco and I, in creating cherry blossom art. Now you have this beautiful picture that you can hang up and show to all your family and friends or get your family together and have a craft night. We look forward to seeing what you're making, so make sure to post it on our websites. But until next time, see you later and keep crafting. Bye!